Claire Hasty is the founder of Long Covid Support. She joins us now from Birmingham in the UK. Thank you for your time. I, I know that you got coronavirus back in March. Just explain to us what your experience was like and what symptoms you still have today. I've yet to have a symptom-free day since I fell ill on March the 17th, so I'm coming up to my 10-month anniversary. Um, I have um, struggled to walk still. I can walk around 100 metres very slowly, but that involves chest pain and shortness of breath. I need a wheelchair to do more than that. And I used to cycle 13 miles a day, so I used to be pretty active. Um, I have uh, musculoskeletal pain. Um, I, have, um, I have shakes. I have difficulties in concentrating, which is one of the biggest barriers among patients returning to work. So it's a really, really major problem. It's been debilitating, clearly. And, and you're not an isolated example of someone who's suffering months on. What other experiences have you found from other people who've still got these enduring symptoms? Well, our, our support group has over 33,000 people so far and growing all the time. People can find us from um, the website longcovid.org if they need to find us because we are there to help anyone who thinks they've got this. We are seeing enormous hardship. People are losing their jobs. People are having to sell their homes. People's relationships are breaking down when they're not believed. People are struggling to access services. Even in England, where some clinics are starting to be set up, Many people are struggling to be believed by their GPs because the condition can affect any part of the body. And that is just not widely enough known, even in the medical profession, never mind among the general public. And employers really, really need to understand this also. And that's part of the puzzle of working out exactly what the longer term implications are going to be of people who, who get this infection. You talk about providing uh, support and help. What has been available to you? Um, as I say, in, in England um, alone, so not the devolved nations of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, there are starting to be some clinics opening focused on long COVID, but they are assessment services and they're only just being set up and there's very patchy provision geographically and also inconsistency in, in what those offer. I was lucky to get to a clinic back in August, but they didn't know what to do with me. They said, we have no explanation for why you can't walk and why you have this constellation of other symptoms. So until research helps come up with some answers and helps us find a treatment, then there's only, I think, limited help that these clinics can do. They can help alleviate some of the dreadful symptoms that some people have, like nausea or dizziness or acid reflux or nerve pain, but they're not getting to the root cause of, of this. Claire, thank you very much for talking us through your experience. Uh, Claire Hasty has founded Long Covid Support. You can find out more details online at longcovid.org. Really appreciate your time and talking us through your experience.